Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The other day in the chat room, a uh, user named Starvos asked a question about being able to make a website believe that he was using Internet Explorer when in fact he was using Firefox. And there's a couple ways this can be done. Uh, the actual way, the best way to do it is to install an extension. An extension we talk about in browser terms is the uh, like a piece of software that extends the ability of something. Extension. Extends the ability. So like you've got Firefox, which you've, you've added stuff to it. You know what you've added to it, right? To make it work the way you want it to work. Like you've downloaded some like grocery shopping list manager thing. A widget? Yeah. Well, it's, I guess it's a widget. You can call it a widget if you want. Okay. Yeah, but you know, that's, that's an extension. That's the idea of an extension. There's one called IE tab that when it's installed, you, let's say you visit a page in Firefox and it says, uh, I don't know what to do here. I only work well with Internet Explorer and it doesn't show you the page or you can't go, you can't go really further into the page because it, it only wants to work in, instead of Internet Explorer. The IE tab extension, you click the little button and it switches the rendering engine from Firefox, well, I guess the Mozilla, a code rendering engine, and in the rendering engine, all browsers work differently. They render this HTML code differently. So Safari looks different, uh, Firefox looks different, they all, inter they all interpret that HTML differently. So, in part because they support different standards, which is part of, part of the reason why you would go to a website that says, I don't work in Firefox, I only work in Internet Explorer. You press the button, it turns on the Internet Explorer from within Firefox. It turns on the rendering engine. So it swaps out the Firefox rendering engine for Internet Explorer's, well, it's called Trident, for, but it's basically that code that interprets a, the HTML and then renders it inside of a browser window. We use Maxton. Maxton is the Internet Explorer base, the rendering engine, but then it's a power skin placed on top of it. So we've got different tools on top of the re rendering engine that Microsoft makes Internet Explorer, the code that makes Internet Explorer. So it's an Internet Explorer mask. That, that well, Maxton is yes. Okay. And this is a way IE tab for Firefox is a way to make Firefox be Internet Explorer. Just if if only on that page. Heck, you could even run Internet Explorer code base from within the Firefox interface the whole time with this plugin as well. And does that slow everything down when you do that layer upon layer of? Not really. Okay. I mean, not not any not any worse than it is running Internet Explorer. On, on its own. You're just running the Internet Explorer rendering engine inside of a Firefox window. Then there is, uh, someone had a Trident video card, man, I used to too. There's another add-on for Firefox or extension called User Agent Switcher. And what is that is doing is, well, okay, so when you visit a web page, you are sending information about your machine and your browser to that web server. You're, you're telling it what browser you're using, the version, etc. Changing the this is called the browser agent string, and when you can actually there's an extension in Firefox that allows you to change your browser agent. Opera has this too, and the reason why is because of compatibility. If you visit a page that says I don't know how to render perfectly on, in your browser, you have to use another browser. You can trick that web server into believing that you are using another browser just by changing your browser agent string. So this is just just a couple ways that you'd be able to get around some of the well, some people call them lazy. Uh, coding uh, people who say, well, you, this page only works in Internet Explorer, or it only works in Firefox. Yeah, it may look better in the other browsers. It may not work perfectly, but sometimes you don't need perfection. You just need the page to work. So you would use something like IE tab or something like the user agent switcher to make it available, at least if you use Firefox. But hmm. Okay, so you're trying to go up to, so say you are a trick-or-treater. It's Halloween, and the door only opens to ghosts but you're Frankenstein this year. So I go up to you and say, can I have your ghost mask so that I can get candy from that house too? And you give me your ghost mask and then it opens up so that I can go get the candy? You do such a better job at this than I do. It's not even funny. Yeah, she explained it. It's perfect. That's it's, it's a good explanation for it.